The queue outside the Ukrainian passport service in Cologne, Germany. Ukrainian men hid their faces from the camera, trying to get their documents before the new law on mobilization came into force. Without success. The passport office said it was experiencing a technical failure. That meant that not only draft evaders, but all Ukrainians of military age could not obtain documents. Sergei left the country legally before Russia invaded Ukraine. His son will soon be 17 and plans to study at home. The family would like to go back. Both my sons and my passports are ready, but I cannot get them. In Ukraine, they say your passport is in Germany, and in Germany, they say we are not giving it to you. The technical problems at Ukrainian passport services abroad coincided with the foreign ministry's announcement that men of mobilization age would be able to obtain passports only in Ukraine. Starting on May 18th, all male citizens of Ukraine who are abroad will be required to register for military service. However, it's not yet clear exactly how to do this outside the country and what documents they'll have to submit. Meanwhile, lawyers say all male Ukrainian citizens, including those who have lived abroad since birth, are subject to the draft. The German government has not commented on Kyiv's decision to stop providing these consular services. But the Interior Ministry has said that Ukrainian men would not be deprived of refugee status in Germany. I'm confident that this will not affect the status of refugees from Ukraine who need protection, regardless of whether they are women, who are the vast majority of such refugees, or men. This status is valid directly throughout the European Union, precisely because of the flight from the Russian war of aggression, so it should not affect it. But when DW asked whether Ukrainian men could receive German documents with an expired Ukrainian passport, the ministry said this would be announced later. Ukraine's government, meanwhile, says that Ukrainian men have not only rights but also responsibilities, including protecting the state. And Kiev says it is necessary to regulate the situation when many men of military age live abroad. On the other hand, Poland says it will help return Ukrainian men of conscription age when their passports expire, if Kyiv requests it.